the artist. Jack Kirby, to me, was far and away the king. I gave him the name King Kirby, because he was the king to me. I would watch Jack draw, and it was almost as if he was tracing, as if the drawing had been there already, and he was just going over it. He never hesitated. He'd never do a line and erase it and do it over again. It's like everything he drew was just the way it should be. And he could design characters and costumes. And he, he, he was magnificent. And he also could draw a strip. He should have been a top Hollywood director. He always knew the best scene to draw, the best angle, and so forth. And he was the fastest. Good as he was, he was faster than anyone else. So he would be number one for me. Right after that came all the other guys. I mean, John Buscema, he was like a, an Italian master, you know, the way he drew. He's fabulous. John Romita, we couldn't have existed without him. Anytime I needed help on anything, if he had to imitate a Kirby job, because Kirby was sick, he would do it, you'd think Kirby drew it. He had it when Steve Ditko gave up Spider-Man. Romita took Spider-Man over, and for the first few issues, you wouldn't know it wasn't Ditko. He drew it just like Ditko did, until slowly he went into his own style, which is what I wanted him to do. And then there was Gil Kane, who was fast and good, a real professional. There was Gene Colan, who was a big movie buff, and he tried to draw everything as if they were scenes from movies. I could go on and on. Every one of our artists was great, and it, it was lucky for me, because it made the stories I gave them seem better than they were, because they drew them so well. So I loved them all. And to, and to go back to Jack Kirby, what, what Stan was saying, the amazing thing about Jack Kirby is that you have ever seen him draw, and unfortunately he's no longer with us, he would start in the corner of a blank page and would just start drawing. And when he said he wouldn't mess up, he didn't do any rough. Like if you've got any sketches today, every one of the guys probably did a little bit of a rough and then they started getting tighter with their pencils. Jack Kirby did none of that. The rough was all in his head. It was in his head. He was looking at a, black, a blank piece of paper, he would start to draw at the corner, and he would just fill it in, and then the page was done, and there was no, it just was magic, right? It was